welcome to the video this is grits and gravy and this is going to be the first episode of machine gang where we just um, dive into machine and this one's going to be a little bit different i'm also going to be doing tutorials and things like that and just whatever y'all want to see me do uh, in machine if you want me to explain some things on how to do certain things because you know machine is a little different it's not like a typical doll and I think a lot of people they get overwhelmed and they really don't know um, where to start and how to finish in machine so I'm about to play this beat in a second but um, first I gotta explain some things because I think I'm doing some things a little different so I just want to show you real quick that um, this is how my setup looks right now so this is the machine and it's sitting in my lap and I got the I got like the laptop and everything is connected this is like a, a two-on-one laptop with the, the touch screen so um, there's no wires or anything I do have it connected to the wall right now because I don't want to risk it dying in the middle of the video so it is connected to the wall and that's just because I'm recording right now so I don't want to have to stop in the middle of the recording to get hooked up and you know so like so it doesn't die down there uh, with the battery so you might see some of my videos I might be um, sitting in the car making beats hold on let me, let me put this back up here get situated so just just bear with me I'm, I'm still uh, working on some things like with the mic and the cameras and stuff now if y'all want me to do more videos about how I got the machine and the laptop all integrated and there's also a, a hard drive up under the, the machine and it has um, complete ultimate uh, 11 on it so I got everything hooked up there's there's no wires it runs off the battery and I got a USB hub with uh, with three ports on it I don't use a mouse so that's another cool thing about my setup because like I said it's a touch screen computer so that's pretty much how the setup is gonna go so if you got any questions about that just hit me up and I can do a video about that so let me just play this beat and then we'll go from there Excuse me. Okay, so I mean that's the beat. Um, that's one of my favorite beats, and that's why I, why I picked this one. Um, I hope you liked it. I mean, you know, just let me know. But let's let's look at this a little bit closer. So let me click on this. Let me switch to machine on my view. This beat is already arranged. You know, this is the way I arranged it. Um, if you look look at my groups the first group is the kick and it's on pad 3 now you might ask why is it just on pad 3 and that's because there was 16 sounds in here but the way I the way I work machine is I only have one sound usually one sound per group and you might be thinking, well, why would you do it like that? Well, it's it has a lot to do with the way I arrange and also like the speed that I make beats with because you, you'll see as I make beats on here, 
the the way that I work it. I have 16 sounds in here, and once I pick the sound that I want, like I audition sounds, I pick the kick that I want, and I delete the other ones. I go to the next sound. Let's say I'm building the beat. Let's say I do I do the bass second. I got 16 different bass sounds that I can work with. I pick the one I want that matches because it's all about sound selection. I pick the one that matches. I lay it out and I delete the others. I usually delete last because I never know. Like as I'm arranging this beat, like I might start with a scene like the scene three right here, and it has pretty much all the sounds in it. I make like the whole beat first, like the whole eight bar loop. I make that first and then from there I start branching out and I'll, I'll do a video on arranging because I also think I, I arrange just a little bit different um, when I first got machine they didn't have the ideas view yet so um, I just don't use it um, I think it's pretty cool and I think it has its uses but me personally I don't I don't utilize it in my setup in my workflow so um, I don't load individual sounds. What I do is I load groups, especially with my drum sounds. I load groups and then I'll load instruments if I need a sound. Um, so let me give you an example real quick. Let's say I wanted to add to this beat. Let's loop scene two. So let's listen to this real quick. Let's say I want to add something to this. Okay, this is like the breakdown um, with no drums. In. Okay, so you hear how that's looped. Let's say I want to add to that. What if I didn't have a kick drum yet? What I would do, I will go down here to the bottom and I'm going to go and load up a group. So I'm going to switch to groups, user groups. I want to load up a kick. So what I do, I load my group and then I pick a sound. So let's listen to it. We can just audition different sounds on the fly. So oh, probably that one. So then I would just record it. That's basically how I would do that. Um, and I would build the whole beat and then I would arrange it and then export it. And we'll, I'll do a video on arranging and exporting and all those things, but I just wanted to show you like my workflow. But if you got any questions, make sure to ask me. And I'm going to be making a lot of beats on here. Um, and you know, hopefully I can not necessarily teach, but just share what I'm doing. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Grits and Gravy signing off. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you later. All right, peace.